What's up guys, back again with another first thoughts review to a brand new film I just got out of called Ad Astra. This is the 2019 Brad Pitt sci-fi epic. It's not really quite an epic, it's just a sci-fi story directed by James Gray, who most recently had directed The Lost City of Z, other films like We Own the Night and Two Lovers, The Immigrant. Big fan of Joaquin Phoenix, this guy. He's worked with him quite a bit. This film was kind of caught in hell for a while. It kept getting pushed. We kept hearing about it, but it was one of these 20th Century Fox films that, you know, with the purchase and the merger, I think just kind of got shelved for a while. But it's funny because it's Brad Pitt. Even though this movie has been de like deemed kind of a thinking person's uh, sci-fi film that's kind of a little slower, it still gets a lot of promotion. It's all over the side of buses and there's giant billboards because it's Brad Pitt. And he is fantastic in this movie. Brad Pitt's really, really good. He plays this beautiful combination of like, very thoughtful fear, but also this stoic sort of thing, like the same thing you get with, with Ryan Gosling in First Man, where to be somebody who can go into space, to launch into space, and, and you know, they talk about how his heart rate on any mission he's ever been on has never gone above something like 80, uh, and that's very admirable because he's in these crazy situations all the time, even falling through the air, it never raises, you know, he's a very unemotional person who can compartmentalize, and so... He really plays that really well. Um, his father in the film played by uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, I don't really want to give too much about the plot away, but basically, you know, his dad goes missing when he's very young. They find out they think he's alive, so he has to go into space to try to find him. And uh, you have a few other people in there. Donald Sutherland is in there. Liv Tyler is in there. Ruth Nega. Uh, I really like the casting in this movie. I thought that the sound design was fucking gorgeous. Um, Max Richter, who is a composer that I'm a gigantic fan of, he did that song On the Nature of Daylight that showed up both in Arrival and in Shutter Island, uh, composed the score for this one. Um, a really, really, really beautiful score, visually an incredible film. Brad Pitt stands out. It's a little slow at times. It's a little meandering. I mean, that's kind of a, a hallmark of James Gray. He's a pretty, pretty personal, pretty kind of emotional director. And this movie reflects a lot of those ideas. Um, I like it better than anything else of his that I've seen. Uh, there are a couple of things of his I haven't seen, but... Um, I recommend this movie, guys. I think it's really good. I think it's a really interesting film. There's a there's some stuff with like a gunfight on the moon that I'd never seen in a movie before, and it was really awesome. There was a moment in this film in the first 45 minutes where I was like, "Whoa, are we in for something like crazy? Uh, this is really really cool." And uh, you know, Brad Pitt handles that really well. There was also um, commercial space travel in this film, which is interesting because you know, Total Recall, you saw that a long time ago, but this was like you know modern day commercial space travel, which is we're getting pretty close to doing that. And so it was interesting to see like flight attendants and like I'd like to buy the the pillow and blanket pack is like oh $125 sir so on the whole uh, The payoffs a little weak at the end for such kind of a slow burn sci-fi film I think that's one thing you look for in movies like this But the similarities to interstellar and 2001 space odyssey, you know, they're there and I love space movies when they're done well So um, see this movie for Brad Pitt see this movie for the visuals see this movie for the general tone and feeling because I think it's all really really phenomenal um, I recommend it. I give it I'm not sure of the total score yet, but uh, I'll talk about it a little more probably in the in the coming week, but that's my first thoughts on the film guys Recommended thumbs up big. Thank you to Fox for inviting me to come see this one early I'm um, looking forward to hearing your thoughts leave your thoughts below. Do you think I'm dead on? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you excited to see it? In any case guys, I am Ben Bateman for another quick review here for Action Industries. Check back for more. We'll see you guys soon